representative, Steve Sullivan. Steve?
Merry Christmas. Bruce is not here, but Derek and Bruce helped me make the decision. He's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, men that, that uh, challenge me, men that, that help me uh, be a, a better man, a better husband, a better father. Uh, I just got to tell uh, all of you know my, my group called the Troy Boys uh, that I went to college with. They have been uh, lifting me up and encouraging me through this entire journey. They're not here tonight, but I love them to death, and we've been together 25 years. It's incredible to have friendships. I want to thank uh, uh, Derek and I, I mentioned Derek, but uh, obviously behind every good man, there's a, there's a great woman, an angel, uh, and their kids uh, that have grown up together. And I want to thank her and her support that she's provided uh, for Susan. And you know, that brings me to my family. You know what? When you, when you create a marriage, and you create family, and you raise little ones to be conscious contributors to society, and you do it God's way, it works. Amen. Amen. I want to thank mom and dad. Um, I, I, I could not, uh, the older I get, <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw the work. <laughs> the smarter mom and dad get. I want to thank them for uh, their lifelong support uh, of me uh, and, uh, and, 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 and the foundation that they've given me. And, and I want to tell you something. The one thing that they've given me, other than our faith, um, they've given me lifelong best friends. And Tim, and Suzanne, and Shane. You know what? To have my to have my siblings. Uh, by the way, we you know we spend a week in, a week together every year. It's called a sibling weekend. And it's coming up here in a few weeks where we go just the four of us. And we laugh and we play and we act like we're ten. <laughs> but you know what? It keeps us close. We love each other. We're partners in life. And um, I just, uh, I'm humbled to have them. Their spouses, Stacy, Bart, uh, I, I got to tell you, Carol, David, Holly, uh, my brother in law, my sister in law. Uh, I want to thank Al, Delona, my aunts and uncles, Uncle Mike and Joanne, Uncle Charles, Marissa, Uncle Bobby, and Janine. Uh, they're not here tonight, can't be here tonight, but I, uh, I miss them, and, and uh, we're thinking of them. All my cousins, my nieces, my nephews, it, it just goes on and on. But they say we have 5,000 cousins in Florida, too, and uh, our family's been here so long. i got to tell you something. Everybody means uh, a lot to me. I love my family.
to represent them in Congress, and you in Congress. And so tonight, to be given another opportunity to go back to Washington, D.C., a city that in so many ways is broken, a city that in so many ways is creating pain and suffering on the American people, to give me the opportunity to go back and finish what I think we started a few years ago is an incredible honor and it's humiliating, to, actually, it, 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 it's humbling to me to be able to go back and to serve and to finish what we started. You know, this has been an incredible journey. Tonight, we still have elections that have not been called. The future of this country still weighs in the balance. Which way do we go? We're an incredibly polarized country right now. And I know that in times like this, this is when there is a premium upon leadership. Leadership. To stand in the gap and to say that I'm going to stand up for what is right. We are going to administer justice. We're going to help the helpless. We're going to free those that are in bondage. People that are hurting. We're going to honor, earn success. That is the fairest system in all the world. We're in a system of earned success where you are rewarded for your effort. You are rewarded for your hard work. You're rewarded for sweat equity. That is the fairest system in all the world. And you know what? It is the most moral system in all the world. Because your plight is determined by your effort, your ability to put your shoulder into your effort. You can learn a trade. You can pursue it. You can have a dream. Through hard work and honest dealings, you can have earned success. We must take back the moral high ground of earned success and not apologize when that success reaps us great benefits because of our labor. There are those, there are many that I battle with, I debate, and I struggle with who want to supplant that system that our forefathers gave us for when they said that all men were created equal and endowed our Creator with certain unalienable rights and that among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They stamp earned success in the pursuit, meaning it's not a guarantee, it's not a promise, it's not a grant, it's not an entitlement. You must work for happiness. It is a pursuit meaning it is elusive. That is the definition of earned success. Our founding fathers had that. I believe that. It is stamped in my heart. My mom and dad, they have demonstrated that. And my promise to you is that as long as I have the privilege of serving you in our nation's capital, I will fight and try to remove any impediment for that and make sure that that system, a system our forefathers had over 200 years ago, is the system we will have 200 years from now. I know that in other systems around the world, systems like communism, when the poor are born, they die poor. I know that in Marxism, if you're born poor, you die poor. I know that in socialism, if you're born poor, you die poor. It is only in a free enterprise system where earned success is recognized and you benefit from the sweat of your brow the calluses you have on your hands, that is the fairest of all systems.